so looks like they got it. Yeah. Sir, if you could, please tell us your name, spell your last name, and your position. Sure, good evening. My name is Steve Ritchie. I'm a Deputy Chief of Operations for the San Diego Fire Rescue Department. Can you tell us what happened tonight, sir? Yes, uh, approximately uh, five minutes before seven this evening, we got reports at the San Diego Fire uh, Emergency Command Center of smoke showing from a um, recycling center. They basically recycle cardboard. Uh, our first unit at scene arrived shortly after seven o'clock saw heavy smoke issuing from the area of uh, oh, a large area of cardboard about 500 by 500 feet uh, they immediately started to make an attack on the fire uh, they were unable to make access to uh, l large portions of the cardboard because of such a large area uh, fire started to spread we immediately the officer immediately called for a second alarm which doubles our resources um, right now, at this point, we are in a containment, which means we have the fire contained, but it is not completely knocked down. Uh, we do not have any injuries on the fire at this time. Uh, with the fire is under investigation by our investigators at this moment. Uh, based on the problem we have as far as how much deep-seated fire we have in these high stack bales, we're going to be on scene probably several hours. Uh, we're calling for one of our foam units, which should be here shortly. We're going to apply foam to the uh, cardboard, which really uh, is an agent that gets in there deep seated and will coat the uh, material, put it out a lot faster than water will. Um, at this point, we have approximately 60 people on scene, 60 firefighters, and again, uh, it's gone to a second alarm, no injuries, and uh, we're going to be working on this for several hours. So it was a San Diego police officer that initially called in, correct? I don't have information on that. I, I do believe I heard something to that effect on the radio, but I can't say for sure. Now, do you know if the freeway was affected by smoke? When we were driving up, there, there seemed to be a lot of smoke. Well, there was a lot of smoke, but again, I don't have any information as far as the freeway being affected. I came up and uh, it was going pretty straight up into the air and then off to the east. Any evacuations from the other buildings? 
Uh, we've um, done some general evacuations just to the adjoining buildings, but as you can see behind me, we've got a large area, uh, large setbacks for the buildings. We've got uh, no damage to any of the buildings. We had a little bit of an impingement of fire to the recycling building, but really no damage or anything. Do we know the cause? It's under investigation at this time. How many firefighters did you say were on scene? Uh, we have upwards of uh, 60 people on scene right now, a second alarm for the City of San Diego Fire Department. Any uh, recommendation for uh, the community who lives around here? No, we're uh, investigating how the fire started. It's in a recycling plant, and uh, so we'll just see where that leads us to. We heard there might have been an illegal burn involved. Did you, are you looking into that possibility? I don't have any information on that. Uh, Metro Arson is uh, doing their normal thing, checking out the scene. Um, I'll try to come back for another interview later if you'd like, if I get any more information. Okay. And you may have answered this already, but so the smoke in the air, how potentially toxic is that for the community and people who work in this area? Well, to my knowledge, it was just a, your everyday cardboard, which is just a, a normal combustible. So uh, nothing more uh, dangerous than a fire pit at the beach and things like that. So no, no, nothing potentially dangerous? No, no hazard at all, really. Okay. Is there any danger of other chemicals igniting in this recycling center? Or Well, there, there's no danger of them igniting, but you never know what's in recycled materials. Um, so that's why we're wearing our self-contained breathing apparatus anywhere around the smoke to keep us all safe. Gotcha. And how long will you guys be out here? Uh, we're going to be here several hours. We've got a lot of work to do. Because a lot of this is cardboard, right? So the, the danger is it reigniting or how... how yes. Um, I, I mentioned earlier we have our foam tender, um, which holds a tremendous amount of foam. We're going to have that unit come out. We're going to use heavy equipment, bulldozer, uh, backhoe, to bring the material out into the street so that we can apply foam to it. Um, it's going to be a lengthy process. Through the night? Um, it's probably going to be a good portion of this evening, yes. Anything you'd like to add, sir? Uh, no. Was there anyone inside the property when it happened? There were workers inside the building, as far as I know. They were still in operation at the time when somebody noticed the smoke. All right. Thank you very Thank much. You, Thank you. Okay, Thank you. got it.